good morning you guys welcome back to my channel or if this is your first time here excuse me i'm trying to open up my drink oh my god i hope i don't make it anyways hello and welcome to you Vanjie does tea if this is your first time seeing my face on your youtube suggested or wherever you saw me this is a youtube channel where i am someone that gives Hair advice and life advice and if you're clicking on today's videos because you see i am doing a life advice video i have a series on my channel called zanji does tea and that is what you're watching right now and we're on we're on episode 10 and um so sorry i'm like a little self-conscious for today's episode because i have been noticing that i read really fast and i feel like i either talk too loud into the mic or too far away so I'm hoping that I am a-okay today, but hey, there are some struggles sometimes when you're filming, but yeah, so in this series that you're watching today, I hope my audio is okay with you guys, but the point of the series is you are supposed to submit your advice story to the email below. Because this is a smaller channel, we don't really have that many submissions just yet. We have had one submission, which I'm always so thankful for. I always think about that submission. What was I saying? I'm sorry, guys. I've been up since like 5 a.m. today. Like, I'm like... Let me just have a sip. Yeah. Okay. I need to wake. Like I haven't had breakfast or anything, so I'm just like I need to wake up. So give me a second. All right, you guys. I'm so sorry. I'm giving you a little energy. It's gonna come up. Just give me a moment. It's really early in the morning. But anyways, yeah. So this is your first time seeing me on YouTube and your first time seeing my series. Like I said, this is an advice series. So what you're supposed to do is submit to the email on the screen below. But because the channel is still small. The small audience people don't really submit anything because they really don't you know people don't know who i am so in the meantime what zanji does tea has been is me going on reddit and seeing people's stories and the reason i'm using reddit instead of just waiting for submissions one there wouldn't be content to film and then two because it's kind of like me building my little portfolio for you guys to kind of get inspired to submit and then eventually we will wean off of reddit and then actually just do the zanji does tea email so you want to get them submissions in they're on the screen below if you have other youtubers you watch that do submission advice i'm another one that you can add to your list email on the screen below i will also link that video if you want an example of me actually giving advice that someone actually submitted but yes guys let's get started usually i film around um two to three three to four stories is what i go over i always have my nice plant on the side i always wear my little press on nails today i use my pasty so i'm feeling a little self-conscious i don't think i'm gonna do that again and i feel like i'm already talking fast i just caught myself so let me start over <laughs> i'm feeling a little self-conscious because i only wore my pasties today but you know how press ones are you can do liquid glue or pasties I did pasties today and yeah i've never even been a pasties fan so i'm scared that on camera you can see how ugly it looks because i'm not feeling it at all but yeah usually have some cute nails you know i get cute for the episodes or whatever or whatever and i always have a little drink today i'm coming with a warm drink i always have a smoothie or something but today i'm coming with some tea because like i said it's the morning i'm trying to wake up trying to wake my body up I'm trying to get this footage out for you guys and i'm trying to film this before i work because i do work a job so run it up run it up so i can bring you more content and then i don't have to work you know what i mean and then i can do a different work from home this right so anyways i also always say you are not required to i just got an email is this as easy as t can we be hopeful let's just check man shut up some spam mail All right anyways guys yeah so I forgot my train of thought oh yes so when you i always say to people watching for the first time right i am someone who i can definitely agree with you if you're someone who watches youtube videos and you're and, and you watch a youtuber and they're already like two seconds into the video and they're like subscribe like share whatever i always say watch all the way through first before you make your decision that's completely okay and then i always also suggest that if you watch all the way through was not feeling it you didn't like my advice the advice was too pg for you it just maybe wasn't what you wanted to hear maybe you don't like my voice whatever i always suggest liking the video at least it doesn't do anything to your page or anything what it does is it will push my video to the people that are looking for it so 
when you subscribe to me that's completely different so let's say like i said if you don't like my video and you don't subscribe i'm trying to like explain the analytics of it to you but basically trust me just like the video it'll push out to you know it'll push the video up to the people searching for it you didn't subscribe so i think the youtube algorithm would be like oh she didn't like it so whatever like yeah she gave it a like he or she gave it a like but you know what i mean does that make sense oh let's let's just get the video started okay if you're feeling me subscribe if not then not that's all i gotta say watch all the way through before you make your judgment comment down below throughout the video if there's things that you resonate with that you feel like you have different advice for and throughout the video i will be putting my email link on the bottom email handle because it's a little reminder submit to the email below but let's start reading let's start reading i'm really excited i love reading these little things so this like it's so interesting reading what people are going through um and this this is your first time here as well i do do a little introduction in the beginning so no i just don't i don't have a slow delay today it's just it's usually what i do in the beginning of every zin you just see is just do a little little briefing usually talk about my life but nothing's really going on i'm just like trying to work save money and yeah you know trying to step into my 20s gracefully basically that's where i am in life right so i saw this really interesting one when i was researching i'll put my reddit on the screen as well i haven't told you on my reddit handle i do not post a lot on reddit what i do there is i give a little advice that i probably don't film and then i just save a bunch of stories throughout the week and then come on camera and then read them to you guys but this episode might be a little like not for the kids not for the kids because the ones i was finding i was like oh this is spicy but i think it's probably gonna be funny i hope so this person says the title of today's first story is what do i say if i don't know my body count i'm a 24 male um <laughs> body count let's talk about it right so don't have no shame in your game if you was a girly or a boy who would ask people their body count you don't have to expose yourself in my comments but come on once you mature you kind of realize like okay that question is so invasive so kind of like kind of dumb do i still think about it yeah like damn like oh how was you rolling before me but you once you start maturing and learning um yeah what people did before you it's either good or bad like if someone had a I, i've heard the higher the body count <laughs> the better or sometimes the worse sometimes people can have a lot of body count aka a lot of practice and still be bad at what you know but sometimes people require in relationships you know you know youtube has little rules so i can't really be as vulgar or you know straight blunt to the cut straight to the point like can i speak english today straight to the point um on this subject but let's read it he is going in he is going straight in the first sentence says it is somewhere between 20 and 30 my body count is somewhere between 20 and 30 and look at me judging on camera look at me i just caught myself i'm sorry it's just I really don't even have an existing body count to be honest. Like, I don't know. Like, people, when people talk about body counts, they, some people consider, like, you know, intercourse. Other people consider other forms of intercourse that don't require privates going in, in and out. Insertion. I don't know if you want to use that word. That word is like really gross for that, for this. But yeah. So if you've had a lot of incidents where, let's say you, Let's say you ate a lot of kitty. <laughs> it's, it's so early to be talking about this. Let's say you've eaten a lot of, you know. Some people added to their count. And I guess if the, he's counting that, let's say you tried it with five girls. And then with three more girls you slept with, that's like, you know, you're running it up. So I don't really, or let's say if a guy got, you know, bop, bop, mad times. I don't know. You know that that can affect the body count i guess like i said we need to be mature as your youtube big sister we shouldn't even think about these things okay but this is just for entertainment this is just for education purposes and you know let's just see what this guy's working with okay he says <clears throat> i went through a hookup phase in college since i lost my 
V card, V card, my freshman year and assumed everyone else was doing the do like rabbits in high school. And I agree. I, I did feel that way. I felt like I used to personally feel like, where are y'all parents? And how are y'all doing this in your house that much that often? So this person said they felt like they had to catch up. Comment down below if you feel like you had to catch up or you felt like you had to compete with or be on the same level as your high school peers. I definitely can say there were moments where I did feel like that. Did I act on it? Not, not in the same way, but yeah. Comment down below. He says, I overdid it a bit. I think since most women around my age say five five to ten okay he just worded this really weirdly so he's basically like i guess he's he's basically saying i guess i like overdid it with all the women that i slept with because anyways they were rating me from like five to ten okay so you know when people write on reddit sometimes they come back with an edit so basically his edit is saying i was just reading it to understand Everyone on Reddit is telling him basically like you're lying. It ain't 20, bro. Like you're capping. He said the reason I mentioned I made a post about this is because I was seeing someone and she asked me. The girl was insecure because her number was lower than his. He's not proud of the number because it's not in line with his personal values anymore. I used to be. I write it on the screen. And then I realized that that's not something I want to like live anymore. Also, body count was her verbiage, not mine. Okay. I'm sorry, but the first comment, because I like to read the comments before I give advice, it's kind of funny. Like, shut up. <laughs> Someone said, would have been less if I met you earlier. Somebody commented that they've been in the other side of the spectrum where their partner would not tell them. They would not tell them. And of course, Here's my thing with honesty in relationships in, in general. I used to be someone that was like, oh, I need to know every detail. Cause why are we hiding things if we're in love and we're just telling me the truth, I, I, I can handle it. It's okay if you can't handle every truth. I learned very quickly, don't be asking for stuff that you don't want, really want to know. Some girls be wanting details like, how many times did you sleep with one person? What did y'all do? Like some people be like, did you, did you do it in her like people be wanting to know those details all i can give you advice is don't act for something that you genuinely don't want to know really sit down and think to yourself do you really want to know that can you really handle that and sometimes it also takes you asking to realize oh i don't like like i don't like talking i don't i don't like seeing my partner in that light so it's cringy for some people it's just cringy okay and that's something you have to realize too it's like when you're in a relationship, usually, I, I guess, heterosexual relationship, is that the right word? I'm so sorry. A straight relationship. It's not like kikiing with your girls. Like, you know, women are just so comfortable with, like, venting to each other, telling each other, like, girl, his game is wah, wah, wah. Girl, I slept with this other guy last week, wah, wah, wah. It really depends on your relationship. I, I feel like there are relationships that are like that, where... People are like, you know, regardless of gender or sexual preference, but there probably are relationships like that that are like, yo, back in the day, I used to be slanging. And the girlfriend's like, yes, period, because I was too, <laughs> you know, it's all about preference. I think at the end of the day, open communication does go a long way. And sometimes a lot of, a lot of things in relationships or even talking stages is just trying to find out first to see if that's something sometimes you got to try things before you realize oh i don't like that so i hope that makes sense yeah and someone did comment if she's not okay with it that's probably not the right person for you yeah i mean at the end of the day like in a mature lens right we don't want to judge people for our path for their past um we don't know why people did what they did what led them to that decision do they have regrets you know um a lot of times we probably assume that people sleep with other people and like that's just that like it was such a great experience oh they have now they have another body count they had a good old time with some random girl or guy what if that person regrets it like what if you know i i did have to like dig deep down and you have to mature about those things like because that's something i grew up seeing a lot and being asked also a lot about from men like what's your body count you know 
what you working with, whatever, whatever. It's it's really an immature question. Like it really is. And I'm coming from a privileged standpoint because you really have to mature to feel this way. You can't just tell someone that's dumb. Don't ask people that. People are curious. And the reason they're asking is because society has kind of convince them that this is something you should ask people like the lower the number the more acceptable it is when really it's like it's a lot it's a lot you know society says oh women are like get loose after a while things like that like you have to be mature you have to be realistic and educated um and get tested at the end of the day is all i'm gonna say too if you are seeing different people get tested just for safety reasons and you don't get caught up like don't get caught up you know don't have a baby by accident like that's really all i can say you know what i'm saying and um if your partner does open up to you and tell you that they have a lengthy history i think the most respectable questions you can ask is you know can i just can we get some testing done we can go together and is there a possibility that you might have a child somewhere or on the way? Because you need to cover your bases, you know? Although doing the beep beep is such a fun time, feels good for some, you want to still cover your bases because it, it is something that concerns your health, like, you know, at the end of the day. So that is my little spiel on that. And it seems like this person generally didn't know their body count. Just kind of wrapping it up. He didn't know his body count because he for real was like not like he was doing it, like not keeping count. So would I suggest you keep count? I mean, I don't think you have to. I don't like I don't really know anyone with a really high body count. And I don't. Yeah, I don't go asking my friends what their body count is. Woman to woman, we do talk about, you know history and stuff but yeah i've never met anyone with like it, the body counts i've heard are like for my age i'm like 24 it's like in the three to like eight range yeah i'm not talking about myself but that's like what i've heard from peers and stuff so i don't know guys let's if you want to just talk about it you want to share an experience or a body count situation that happened or a guy was like you know, I don't know. A guy told you he had a body count of like 80 or something. Like, if you feel comfortable, submit to the email below. Also, don't forget to follow the submission rules, okay? You can't be telling people, putting people on blast on my channel, their real names and things like that. So, I will also link that down below. But let's read another one. Okay, let's... Mm, do I want to read that one after what I just wrote? I'm like, which one do I read? Okay, this is kind of funny, so I guess we can read it. Well, not funny, but you know, life. Okay, story number two. Titled, this girl I'm seeing called me to let me know that she had been seeing another dude and that's why she was late. What do you think about that? What are your initial thoughts? Just comment down below. I'm going to keep my thoughts to myself for that one till later. Yeah. So this person writes, I've been dating this girl for about a month now and it's going well. I could see it developing into a relationship we have been having doom, doom, every time we get together. The first time, okay, so giving very honeymoon phase. The first time we did, I gave her a quick briefing about how I'm more of a monogamous dater. AKA, I don't have enough free time to casually date multiple people at once. And she agreed that she's the same way. So yes, man. first of all, be right back you know what's crazy too is i f charge my equipment before i film i swear it's like it's just some bad luck sometimes but let's continue what i was saying is yes yeah, so usually i don't know if people still do this because i've been kind of you know boot up for like three years now but back then when i was in high school and stuff either you're talking to a lot of people at once or you are just talking to one person at a time like per session so you talk to someone then you date then yeah right and i'm saying this for like my younger folks and then my older folks who kind of don't know what people in their late teens and 20s are doing this is kind of like what i've seen right personally i think one bravo bravo to these two 
for having that communication. Please have that freaking communication, that conversation with anyone you're talking to. I have found myself in a lot of bullshit because I, men, that's the thing. If you don't tell men in my situation, in my experience, if you just assume that y'all seeing each other, and this could be obvious, they could be trying to kiss you, trying to date you, trying to pay you for dinner, trying to, they can pull it right out of you and be like, you know, you could be like, what are we? And they can be like, we never established anything. We were just friends. Now, maybe I just had bad luck. That's fucked up. Like, come on. It's, come on. Got me meeting your family and shit. Don't, don't play with me. I'm triggered. <laughs> yeah, have those conversations with people because bad people, I guess. Mm. Yes, have those conversations, but also be wary of if you do have those conversations, if those people tell you, it was never anything, what are you talking about? Just leave. Just save your time. It's no point. Let's keep reading though. After our third date, I explicitly stated that I was only seeing her at the moment. And she told me she had one date with another guy, which was fine by me. Since I wasn't asking her to be exclusive yet, I just wanted to get a feel for if we were on the same page. And that's why you up babes i don't know i feel like if you tell someone you're a monogamous dater aka you only mess with someone once at a time she said she does too and then next week wants to tell you oh i did go on a date with this guy so so you're not babes we're, we're on two different levels right now and that's gonna cause you an issue you know what i'm saying so so yes, you're keeping your focus on this one person and this person was not honest with you and they are keeping their focus on you and someone else. That's fine. Y'all are not officially together. But as human beings who converse with each other and set expectations for each other, you know, yes, she doesn't owe you that. But I think when people are dating, like, we should have some respect, you know? We should have some respect. We're having fun. We're two people engaging in a moment. The least we can do is keep our word and communicate with something that has changed. And, you know, that's kind of where my head is at. What do you, what do you think so far? I kind of have like a lot of thoughts about this, but comment down below. Um, also, you can email me if you're in a similar situation and we can talk about it. She called me today about two weeks since the third day I just mentioned to let me know that she has been stressed this week because her period was about a week late. So she got anxious and took a pregnancy test and it was negative. I told her I was surprised she even jumped so fast for a test since I'm very safe with doo doo and there was no way anything that happened between us would have made her pregnant unless there was some kind of cosmic fluke so meaning yeah you guys know the grown folk know what this means okay at which point she told me that she had also been having woo -woo with the other guy too and after this whole thing she called it off with him Call me the asshole, I don't care. I would have cut her off at this point because why are you lying? Like you're already giving big major red flags. I'm someone, I've always talked to people to date. You know, people date to marry. There's people now that talk to date, date to marry. If I'm talking to you, I'm seeing if you're a prospect to date to officially make a couple with to be in a relationship with me. If you're lying from the jump, this is my perspective, my personal opinion, my experience. If you're lying to me from the jump, about something this big all you had to say babes was you're not a monogamous dater and this person seems like they only tell you the truth when they have no other option but to that's not a good trait like that's just not something good and that's not gonna be a successful relationship in the future because it's like you know and i am getting a little frustrated for this person because i feel like he was very honest and a lot of women don't get men like this. A lot of times it's the roles are reversed. So kind of shame on her because it's like, yes, I know she don't owe him nothing. 
But the least you can do as a decent human being, messing around with someone else, germs are involved, privates are involved, bodily fluids, like, come on, like, you have to be respectful about those things. You have to be on top of it. You have to be responsible. She's being irresponsible and then lying. And then the communication is off, like, it's given three red flags, like, I'd be like, I'm all set with you. And then a pregnancy, pregnancy scare. I'm sorry, what? Girl, like you're giving me drama. Like I would have been like, you're stressing me out. I'm all set. And then I wouldn't believe her if she said, okay, well, I could have also like, why? Why all of a sudden, you know? I felt relief from the pregnancy test aside but we haven't explicitly committed to being exclusive. So I understand what happened was completely acceptable. But I'm still a little earthed because she was having sex with someone else at the same time as me. I'm 22 and have mostly been in relationships. So I'm not sure how to feel about something like this in a more casual dating situation. So she has told me about the other guy. I guess it's nice that she picked me now. But I have this feeling in my stomach about the whole thing. I've been cheated on before. You're gonna like that is so triggering for you. That definitely could trigger you. Like, are you kidding? So it's kind of uncomfortable for me to picture the girl I'm with with someone else. I told her that I had known she was with multiple people and she was an apologetic. Oh, he said, I told her I wish I had known that she was with other people. She was just sorry about it. Never had a situation like this before. Is this a rational feeling or am I just out of luck because we haven't agreed to be exclusive yet? Okay, yeah, so I guess this first person, because I don't know the layout on Reddit, bear with me. This first person's comment is like on top. I don't know if like that's the most recent, but they said, why is everyone glossing over the fact that he told her monogamous? And she said, same, but yet slept around with other people. She lied and that's not good. Y'all aren't even together. And yeah, someone else said clearly having, you know, whatever with another person with that protection. She's putting whoever wrote this at risk she's putting everyone at risk everyone is putting each other at risk and the one that's taking the l here is old boy here because he's the one that's communicating and we don't know what she told other guy but yeah people are just kind of arguing in the, the thing here and people are assuming that she did have unprotected thing with the other guy but she didn't say that yet yeah, with her lying ass let me stop yeah it's really a kind of given 50 50 here i think at the end of the day from this story we can learn this if you're with someone establish what y'all are comfortable with or what you're not comfortable with if you are fine with home girl you're seeing maybe sleeping with other men plus you then vocalize that if you're not okay with home girl sleeping with other guys plus you vocalize that same for her if she's fine with you sleeping with other girls and you know, you know how the how the tale goes. This is grown folk territory. Meaning, if you're gonna date and y'all are gonna involve intercourse, mature conversations need to be had. You can't just go sleeping with people and guessing, guessing what everyone's doing. That's not good for you. That's not good for the people involved. We are all human beings in this world that need to be, we need to take care of each other. Yeah, I know. Maybe this is just a HOE that you just fucking on, right? You still owe people that respect. Like, sometimes it is life or death. Like, sometimes these things do cause lifelong issues. And the least you can do is just verbalize that, you know? Verbalize those things, have those communications. And I've always heard the saying, if you can't talk to the person that you're sleeping with about boundaries and what you like in bed, what you don't like in bed, expectations, yada, yada, yada. Should you be sleeping with this person? There's also this other crazy saying. I don't know how you feel about it, but it's like, if you can't see yourself having a baby with someone, then don't sleep with them. I think people should be allowed to have a little fun. To be a little a little spicy right so that's how i feel about that saying but comment down below what you think clearly when he meant late in the title he meant her period not a date late but comment down below what you think and let's read a last one a short one because i do have to dip 
Seems like this episode is a lot about beep beep, so let's see here. Last story of the day, and the title is my... I'm gonna put it on the screen, but I'm gonna mute my, my mouth. My is killing my relationship with my boyfriend help. Let's talk about it briefly, and this is a woman asking for advice, right? Let's talk about it. I feel like we are used to seeing men kind of do the this over sexualizing always being the one that's like i feel like that's usually the standard now when it's a woman usually people say yes people assume right that guys are like mm, 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 mm. it depends on the person really it really does what you end up learning you know when you're in a long-term relationship is that Sometimes libidos, libidos, I don't know how to pronounce it. Sometimes people's sex drives just change throughout the week. So sometimes you might be the more person that week. The other person might be the one more that week. And then sometimes y'all might match each other's energy. Like sometimes y'all just like mm. chill. So that's something to take with you as you grow up and as you, you know, or if you're even an older person watching my videos and you're like, You've always wondered. That is a thing, girly. That is a thing. I didn't know. Then I looked it up. Research. You know, sometimes you have to just research things. And then you learn. Oh. It's fine. Okay. There's nothing wrong with you. You know what I'm saying? So, let's read this. Um, I feel like this thing has been like, oh, sliding off. Yeah, it definitely has. Look. Has been sliding off all episode. Like, bitch. I don't have time. I don't have time for this. But let's read this story. I understand that in the array of problems, this one comes the last, but hear me out. Girl, if you could just ask for your advice, talking about, she's already belittling her issue. Girl, it's okay to feel how you feel. She said, I have a boyfriend. It's been three months. Am I just irrationally attracted to him? The poor wholesome guy was trying to show me his room over a video call, and I just got super... By seeing his belt lying around. Okay, girly. Um, he and I have the same values, and both of us are really curious, research-based sort of thinkers. So when we were just friends, our discussions and debates are really interesting. The witty banter was all I needed. By now, I'm also always so excuse my language, she wrote that even when he's trying to hold a decent conversation, all I've got on my mind is, even after we have several rounds of it's not like I'm not, I'm just tired that we end up silently resting. I'm just so tired after that we just go to bed. My is killing the emotional bond we have the quality of our conversations and i have no idea what to do about it somebody help okay so before i read the comments um ladies i just want to give you a tip if you did or did you know that sometimes women are more like around their period or when it's coming sometimes women are just like like that like you'll look at the belt and be like not me but she said <laughs> um it's common it's normal it's definitely normal and i think it's really cute i think it's really cute that in the beginning you guys are only dating for three months that it's that short and you're still feeling like hearts heart eyes like oh he is just so fine period you know you should feel like your man is fine i think that's great i think that's really great is the emotional thing being killed i don't think so i seem like he's still sleeping with you he's probably like mm, mm, mm. she's probably like mm, mm, mm. you know what i'm saying yes you can like I guess I don't know if I want to say mm, 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 your way through it just to get it out of your system. But like, when will you? When will you? Let's read what people are saying. Let's read what people are saying. Someone said first, it's, this is not a bad thing. It just means that you find him really attractive. Yeah. Or that you're entering a high libido phase. Sometimes, like I told you guys, it'll be up. It'll be down. It could be a phase. Um, this relationship is still new. So there's probably urgency that you have to do it all the time. And then eventually it'll fade over as you guys get comfortable together. Yeah, somebody also said, try not to make... Mm, mm. 
about <laughs> i'm so serious you see me i haven't even laughed at myself i've been like so when you mm, mm, you gotta like you know and i'm just like like it's just nothing for me i try it to Try not to make the relationship only about that because then you guys aren't getting to know each other. How, basically, what I'm saying is, basically, what I'm saying is, how can you get to know someone if y'all are just, mm, mm, mm. y'all ain't talking about stuff while you're, mm, mm, and you know what I mean, like conversation, like yeah, if you're talking, okay, but are y'all like having a deep conversation while you're, mm, mm, probably not. But um, yeah, that's where my mind goes. Try to do fun things and then I guess reward yourselves with some mm, mm, mm. like don't make it all about that because it does send the wrong message to your partner. And I guess open communication again. It's all about that communication. You can pull your partner aside and say, you know what? Man, I can't get my hands off you. And I just don't want you to think that that's what this is all about. I love you. I do. Oh well, it's, it's three months. I don't know if you've said that, but you know, you can be like, mm. I do like doing this with you. It's, it's a really fun thing. Um, can we try something else? Like, I do. I, every time I see you, I do want to do that. But I think, you know, we should try other stuff. We can do that at the end of the day. But let's try to do activities throughout the day to kind of distract us. Because maybe, you know, we still got to get to know each other, which y'all do. It's three months. Someone said, yeah, we. I had the same issue when I started dating my boyfriend. My boyfriend, we were just feral. I didn't know what was happening to me. It was more like I was not used to feeling such a close bond. I feel her on that. Yeah, someone else just basically said, yeah, early on in relationships, this kind of happens. And then people fall into routine, birth control, or um, ed edits. Birth control messes with your hormones as well. So that could be hyping your libido up. That was the last story of the day. If you feel like you've had a situation like this, comment down below or email to the email below. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I don't know. I'm kind of thinking, do I have any more advice for this person? Honestly, enjoy yourself, girl, period. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, like I said, enjoy yourself, but communicate. As long as your partner knows, I don't just see you like a piece of meat, okay? I do love you, but this is just something really fun that I like to do with you. And if they're like, I right, say that. Say no more and dap each other up. Mm, mm, mm. And then go out to eat, dinner, talk, play some video games. Maybe mm, mm, mm. talk again and repeat. Just be honest, be open, be clear in any relationship you have. That's my biggest advice today. Communication. Thank you for watching today's video. I really appreciate it if you watched all the way through. Like I said, if there's any stories that made you inspired to submit a story, email is on the screen below. Follow my other socials. I do post a lot on there, a lot, a lot. And I do post uh, Zanji Does Tea weekly. Thank you for watching episode 10, 10, 10. Yes, thank you for watching. I hope you did decide to subscribe. If not, remember, leave a like to push my video to the other girlies that are trying to find my video. And then they can watch me go say, mm, 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 when talking about but yeah guys i promise i am 20 or going on 25 i am just clearly childish today but th thanks again for watching and i will see you in the next one peace out